Hey friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel. And recently, Wolfgang Van Halen, who is of course the son of the late, great Eddie Van Halen, has made a brutally honest statement about the possibility of there being any sort of uh, reunion with Van Halen or, you know, reunion tribute show. He says it is definitely not likely to happen, and the reasons why are pretty eye-opening. Okay, so we've got this article up here on guitar.com, which we're going to go through together and talk about. And as usual, I'll have a link down in the video description below for the original article if you want to check that out. And of course, real quick, guys, if you enjoy videos like this, staying up on all the latest news in the guitar universe, and also checking out cool new guitars, and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, so let's take a look at what Wolfgang has to say. So we'll just scroll past this free advertising that Blackstar is getting here. Not that I don't like them, Blackstar amps are awesome. But let's look at this headline right here. Wolfgang Van Halen suggests that Van Halen members are, quote, too dysfunctional to organize a tribute. All right, there he is, the man himself. And let's take a look at this article here. So it says Wolfgang Van Halen has once again dashed hopes for an Eddie Van Halen tribute show, insisting that the relationship between surviving members is too dysfunctional for an event to materialize. Speaking to Classic Rock magazine, Wolfgang has admitted the possibility of a Van Halen reunion is slim. No thanks to the clashing personalities of the members. I think they mean thanks to the clashing personalities of the members. Quote, when it comes to Van Halen and entities surrounding the band, it's unfortunate, certainly compared to Foo Fighters who have their act together with interpersonal relationships, Wolfgang said. He goes on here, certain personalities just can't get over themselves to work collectively for one purpose. That's been the curse of Van Halen for its entire career. Their camp is very dysfunctional, Everyone. Hell, it was difficult to make plans even when the band was active. In the interview, the Mammoth guitarist also confessed, uh, Mammoth, to be clear, is the name of his band, uh, also confessed that he has felt a sense of closure when he performed his father's tracks, Hot for Teacher, Panama, and On Fire, at the Taylor Hawkins tributes earlier this year. And that was really great to see. I mean, there's some incredible footage floating around. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen it of, uh, of Wolfgang, you know, playing guitar on, on those tracks, and he did a great job. He says here, I feel a lot of closure because my part of the show was a tribute to my father. Uh, he explains referring to his time sharing the stage with Dave Grohl and Justin Hawkins. My playing at the Taylor shows delivered that catharsis without the stresses of dealing with the Van Halen camp. Very interesting. Then it says here, the guitarist also addressed the comments made by Sammy Hagar to Rolling Stone last week, where the former Van Halen frontman said he would love for a reunion to take place. He said that, but he also said he wouldn't, Wolfgang said. Sammy said two different things. I feel that I've said my piece, and if the Taylor concerts are all that happens, then I'm happy with that. Okay, so let's talk about this. Number one, I think it's great that Wolfgang has found a sense of closure, uh, you know, with his, his father's death as, as much as anybody can, right? So this stuff he's saying about uh, the, the Taylor Hawkins uh, tribute concerts and how happy he is with those, and hey, if that's the only chance he gets to do a show like that where he can you know, play those Van Halen songs, then, then he's fine with that. So it sounds like he is in a good place. But the other thing here, and this to me is really you know, uh, what it really comes down to, what the real question is, um, who exactly is he talking about as being dysfunctional? Is he talking about everybody? Is he talking about Alex Van Halen? Is he talking about one or more of the singers? You know, Diamond Dave. Is he talking about Sammy Hagar? I mean, please don't drag Gary Sharon into this. He couldn't possibly be talking about mild-mannered Michael Anthony. Or, honestly, it could be people who are more behind the scenes. I mean, it could not necessarily be the musicians, but it could have something to do with management or the people that 
own the rights to the Van Halen name and, and things like that. I wish I had some sort of insider information on this, but as a lowly, medium-sized YouTube guitarist, I don't. And so at this point, I can go one of two directions. I can do baseless speculation, which I often do, or I can go the other way and I can put it to you, the audience. What do you guys think about this? If you had to choose one person from the Van Halen camp that is possibly causing friction and making these events hard to do and that kind of stuff, who do you think it is out of everybody? I want to know what you guys think, and so let me know what you think down in the comment section below. But you know, these things usually come down to more than one person. You know, maybe it's a couple of people who just hate each other's guts and they don't want to be in the same room together, that kind of thing. And so that creates problems for everybody else. That's, you know, kind of a classic band situation right there. But I'll say one more thing about this, guys. If there never is a Van Halen tribute show, you know, with the uh, surviving members, I honestly, I think that's okay. The legacy of Van Halen is so well established, they can just leave it as it is. I was fortunate enough, and I have to thank my brother-in-law Steve for this, but I was fortunate enough to see Van Halen's second to last show ever, right? Uh, of course, at the time, nobody knew that it would be the second to last show. And like all of these reboot movies and prequels that nobody asked for and that kind of stuff, just leave Van Halen alone at this point. I think that's the best thing to do. Obviously, it would be great to be able to hear those songs performed live again by some of the original members, but I think at this point, the best thing is just for us to live with the memories that we have. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Again, I'm going to have a link for this original article down in the video description below, and I will also have links down there for my social media and my latest instructional program and all that good stuff. And I'll even put a link for my Die Cry Morn t-shirt that I'm wearing right here. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you very soon.